Hey everybody, this is Trowball and I've got your top 10 plays of the week for week 8. First, the almost maybe coulda shoulda honorable mentions. We've got Big Meaty Ball of the Ariana Grande fan club doing a great job staying alive, giving his defenders plenty of time to get the return for him. And he knows just when to fake rolling bomb and turn up into base, leaving his opponents in the dust for the cap. Next we've got Monty Ball of 12 Angry, using rolling bomb to good effect, leaving base. Unable to go top, so he actually goes gate. What a great hold by Alvin to let him in and a patient approach once he gets in for the easy cap. Alright, so on to the top 10. For number 10, we've got the one and only Kroski of Lag Prone, hitting a sick bomb out of base ahead of three ghost boosters. He's able to go middle, and he's not done yet. He comes into base, facing some resistance from Gem, he's able to pick up a rolling bomb, getting a timely return, blast the enemy flag carrier into spikes, comes in for the easy cap. Great job, Kroski. Alright, and now for number 9. We've got my boy John Jacob Poole of Tears, using Juke Juice to good effect, getting chased by two angry pie rats. He's able to twerk off the corner to keep himself alive. Watch that bump. Unbelievable. Nice job, JJ. For number eight, we've got Bad, the pop and block and pro bots. Hits top bomb great at Geo Koala to get past two. Goes bottom and is coming into base. His friend Rough Justice knows the bomb timer and is able to knock Shweddies out of the way for Bad's easy in into base. At number seven, we've got Alvin. 12 Angry Balls doing what he does best. Alvin Strats goes top and somehow gets free top again. In for the easy cap. Great bomb, Alvin. For number six, we've got Rasta, a starting defender for 30 seconds to Mars Ball, who makes an absolutely sick juke to get the cap on Wormy. At number five, we've got Deadnan of the Capitalists, monopolizing all the power-ups, coming into base, throwing some stutter steps, catching some absolutely great blocks for his teammates, and in for a very nice cap. At number four, we've got Choxy of Balkamedes, who grabs the flag and goes out wide and wormy. Looks like he might be able to cap with the help of a tag pro, but Eggy Weggs with a nice bomb appears to have thwarted the cap. Wow, what a tight fit. Very nice, Choxy. At number three, we've got Buckyball, the pop and block and pro bots. He's able to get away top and with the help of some great blocks and excellent patience. He earns himself a cap. At number two, we got one baller. Captain of Marble Madness, using every tool in the arsenal to earn himself a cap on Wormy. You got your bombs, you got your boosts, you got your patience, you got your going back to the enemy base. Oh, but don't forget boosts again, quick thinking, and some corner work. That'll get you the cap on Waller. Now I present to you the top play from week 8. It's Legman, of 30 seconds to Mars Ball, who's hard to get with one juke juice, but with two, yeah, he's pretty much untouchable. Watch him get by Stan to get into base, which looks empty, but is soon filled with four angry reptiles. Remember what we said about him being untouchable? Rasta, in short order, finishes up the reptiles, and they're able to get the return by just a hair to let Legman in for the second cap of the half.
On behalf of the Top 10 team, I want to thank you for watching. This is Trowball signing out. Remember to always get your blue balls spayed or neutered.